Peace, love and light, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to get a temperature check on my beloveds. I've missed you all so much. I know that I've been missing in action. I went and visited some family, and as you can see here with my copper pyramid, I've been doing a lot of grounding, a lot of meditation, so I've really been going within, especially with that um, full moon in Virgo. Um, I'm a Taurus uh, moon so that was a very powerful energy for me as well so I really took the time to really center myself ground myself connect and I also went to checking on family it's been a little minute since I saw the family especially after my brother's um, miraculous uh, you know um, miraculous experience in that car accident a few weeks ago I hadn't seen him so I went down just to check in just to touch base just to put my arms around my loved ones you know things like that happen and it just puts things back into perspective so I've really been just really grounding myself finding balance finding that harmony you know um, and I will you all have been doing the same uh, I would like to welcome anybody that may be new to the channel my name is Q as I said I too am a Scorpio I am an empath uh, I channel messages intuitively uh, and I'm also Claire audience so you will hear music in the background and I incorporate the messages that come out with the music with what comes out with the tarot cards and they tend to blend very beautifully if I do say so myself um, right now we have Jill Scott and the name of this song is called talk to me um, and this is from the beautifully human album words and sounds volume two so someone is honestly wanting you to talk to them um, someone is really really desiring to hear your voice I really feel that you've cut someone off and the silence that the two of you have is really it's bothering someone really uh, to the core I feel like they may not communicate it because they can't <laughs> because you may have changed your number you may have completely disappeared on that ass but um, I really feel like somebody wants you to talk to them they want to hear your voice they want to I'm hearing explain things maybe something happened and you thought it was one way and they want to explain what was really going on I feel like you two separated um, from one another with there being this confusion um, not really being clear as to you know what was going on the happenings surrounding the events um, but I do feel strongly somebody feels that you're very beautiful that you're very um, humane you're very humble you're very kind you're like a loving soul a loving spirit uh, very warm you know very inviting energy and um, you know that could be why they're like wanting to talk to you because maybe you was the only rational person they had around them everybody else was kind of like the dun -da dunce you know um, but you had this ability to you know really come in and neutralize their energy really ground them in a way where maybe right now they're up in their head a lot uh, feeling a lot of confusion maybe they haven't bumped into another you that could really help them to see things in a different perspective maybe you had that ability to you know kind of uh, give them other ways to look at things but someone's really desiring um, your conversation I feel like you stimulated them um, a great deal and and maybe they're like they're thirsty they're they're hungry for um, that type of positive energy that type of of um, that type of frequency I think that you just have a completely different frequency especially with the name of this album being beautifully human so it's almost like you are a beautiful human but we all know that we are spiritual beings having a human experience but I feel like they see beauty on you um, you know beauty in you as well as beauty the beauty of you uh, so it's really beautiful what I'm picking up that energy um, so let's go ahead and continue on and do some house cleaning so my readings are general so that means eat the fish spit out the bones whatever doesn't apply let it fly by only you know your story only you know the deets to your story the intricate deets I don't have that information it is not privy to me because these are general messages so I'm just picking up on the general energy and you can just switch the roles as necessary so if I say something and you're like yo that wasn't me that was him if I'm speaking from 
the context of Scorpio, that's because this is a Scorpio reading. So if you are cross watching, please know that I'm speaking from the perspective of Scorpio. But if you know that you didn't do the things that I am speaking of, then you just switch the role because you know the actual story. OK, so if it doesn't apply, just let it fly by. OK, um, this is also timeless. So whenever you find yourselves clicking on this video, whenever you see the video in your feed, that is divine timing. Uh, no perfect time and then divine timing. OK, so let's call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether and spirit. Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters. Most High God, our Creator, Deity, Spirit Team, Animal Totems, Earth, Mother Gaia, Universe, Source, the Divine, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light for my beloved Scorpios. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards, help me to pick up on the energy, number synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mode it be. Ashe, Ashe, Ashe. So right now we have Anthony David, and this is called Forevermore. So forevermore, somebody is really, really seeing you as someone that is that happily ever after. Um, with four, the number four, because it's the way that the word forever is written, is um, written with the number four. So this is someone that loves you forever. This is someone that sees you as their forever person, that happily ever after person, that twin flame, that cosmic companion, that soulmate, that kindred spirit. Um, we have here on the bottom of the numerology deck is personal growth. And then we have on the split rebirth. So someone has seen you go through some sort of startling metamorphosis, a trans formation and this has caused someone to really become intrigued um this is someone that sees and respects you even more um because of your growth this is you know you also being very sensitive uh psychically intuitively you're like a sorceress an oracle you are someone that can channel your thoughts and manifest your desired outcomes by focusing your intention um, and you will eventually hit your mark. You will eventually manifest whatever it is that you're thinking of because you understand that you're the alchemist, that you're the magi, that you create your reality, your reality. So this is showing your personal growth in utilizing that skill set, utilizing that ability to tap in, to trust your intuition, to use discernment. Um, you may also be getting a lot of downloads at this time, divine interventions, Synchronicities. Today I found a feather um, when I was getting my vehicle serviced um, and I looked down and I found like a little feather. Um, so that's yet another feather. And whenever I find feathers, I always attribute that to, you know, me being protected, the angels just leaving me a sign that all is well, all is bliss. So this personal growth is, you know, also encompassing of you being able to understand, you know, the, the spiritual guidance that you're receiving or the little, uh, nuggets of information. Uh, this rebirth is also seven. So you have seven, seven, um, seven is a very spiritual number. Some of you could have been born on November 1st. 6th, 7th, um, November 14th, November 5th. Um, I feel that with this 777, seven, seven could also be your life path number. Seven can be um, an indicator that there's something beautiful that's coming in and you are picking up on that uh, telepathically and intuitively. I feel like many of you have had to um, heal from a lot of uh, past traumas, childhood traumas, familial traumas, loveship issues, um, and abandonment issues, whatever it was, you've healed from that. I feel like a lot of you have uh, been doing a lot of internal work, a lot of soul searching, a lot of self-evaluation and self-discovery ultimately. And this is what's led to this personal growth is just your ability to release and let go of what no longer serves you. Um, right now we have Mr. Man, and this is by Alicia Keys. So some of you all could have been dealing, if you're feminine or even if you're masculine, you could be dealing with a masculine, you know, someone who, um, 
you know, who could have caused some of these tower moments, some of these sudden upheavals. Uh, but I am sensing that, you know, that was a part of your karmic lesson. That was a part of something you were meant to experience and go through because it was designed to help you to become a better version of yourself, to understand your worth, your value, to show self-respect, self-love, and more importantly, um, self-discipline ultimately. Um, that seven and seven reduced to 15, I'm sorry, to 14, which reduces to five. And five is the throat chakra. And remember we had Jill Scott saying, talk to me. So I do feel like there is a sense that someone um, has watched your transition, your growth, your ascension, your evolution. And this is someone desiring to communicate with you. And it's obvious that because you are not in communication, you've really been in that hermit mode. You've really been in that hangman mode where you're really doing a lot of internal work. You're healing, you're growing, you're evolving, um, and you're repairing, you know, ultimately yourself. And so this is triggering someone to want to communicate. We got 67 here on the bottom of the deck, physical activity. So that's just showing me that you have really been very active, very proactive. You haven't just been sitting around praying and waiting for God to knock on the door and deliver your prayers to you. You've really been proactive. You've really been very active in um, ensuring that you're, you're stronger, you know, that you're healthier, that you have a healthy perspective, that you have a healthier outlook, um, and ultimately that you have healthy relationships later on down the line. So it's like you got to heal you first and foremost in order for you to attract what, you know, what it is that you desire. And I feel like you've learned that, that a lot of the healing um, was necessary because you were still carrying a lot of energetic bound, uh, baggage. So let's see what we got coming and going out, going on for my Scorpios, bottom of the deck, overall energy, and we have nature. So we have the number 474. Some of you could have been born in uh, 1974. Um, some of you could have had a solar return on 1111. So that is a powerful, um, you know, a powerful port. That's like a, a, um, a portal that opens up, that 1111 goes straight up. So a lot of you could be receiving those downloads, as I said. But I also feel like you have um, a divine feminine, a divine masculine uh, that could be coming in. You may meet this person out in nature, in an outside setting. This may be someone who could be an earth sign. Many of you could also be just taking that time out to go out in nature, to ground yourselves. Um, maybe you're spending time in a really grassy area. So you could be finding like trails, um, nature trails, and just walking amongst the trees and you're getting a lot of downloads, having a lot of brilliant ideas, uh, just kind of rushing to you. Um, I feel like when you do meet your divine masculine or feminine, it's just going to be a very natural um, way in which you meet this person. I feel like you're going to get along really well. It's just going to come off very natural, very organic. Um, and I feel like there's going to be like some sort of, um, I hear cosmic uh, connection. There's just this, this, there's just a sense that you two are being aligned because we got, this is the number 11. So I feel like there's just this alignment that's taking place. Um, and that 11 is associated with the 1111, which is typically, um, you know, called the, the twin flame number. So I do feel like you're coming into alignment, like your angels and ancestors are conspiring behind the scenes to kind of like bring this person into your life to align you with the right person and this is someone that is um also very psychic so you may have some sort of um like a mental connect spiritual connection spiritual bond a psychic uh communication there could be communication back and forth telepathically as well intuitively uh, maybe even via your dreams but i do see this connection like growing into something very like strong um stable um, this, there's like longevity here, family legacy. Uh, this is like happy house, happy spouse. Um, and that happily ever after that I was picking up on, um, we have right now, um, this is called Terra Nova and this is called East, East flat bush, uh, project. Um, and the name of the song, uh, no, this is called tribe by 12. So I feel like with 12, the reference number 12 is, um, it reduces to three. So I feel like there's 
potentially this could be um, reconciliation or someone from your past returning, even if it's not an ex, because I'm not getting ex vibes. I'm just getting someone that you know. Maybe this is someone you worked with. Maybe this is someone that you um, lived around, you know, because this nature is also, you know, could be someone that you, you know, got coins with, somebody that you used to work with and the two of you, you know, um, you know, have that history uh, in that regard, you know, but um, I do feel ultimately with the tried by 12 um, with that tried by 12 is like uh, referencing like judge and jury. So um, the name of the song is called tried by 12. So maybe this person, um, you know, this is a part of like your karmic, um, some sort of karma. Uh, because, you know, in the court systems, justice. So this is like things are being uh, handled fairly and justly for you. Um, and I feel like it's because you have sowed your seeds in good faith. Like what the, the deeds that you've done in the past are are blessing you with this new um, opportunity, new beginnings. I didn't even see new beginnings because I've been running my mouth and you have a new beginning. So you have a new beginning, a new opportunity, um, I feel, at love, at um, a real thorough, strong, and solid connection with someone. And I feel this is someone that's coming in very just, um, very kind, um, someone who's very honest. Um, this is someone that, I, like I said, I just feel like, you know, this is a part of your karma. So let's see. Who is the person Scorpio is attracting? How do they feel? So we got karmic completion. So they could be wrapping up a cycle. Remember, we had that rebirth card. And rebirths are all about transformations. This is all about endings, karmic lessons being completed. So someone was also mirroring your energy. We had you at personal growth. And then we had someone else who had the um, energy of, um, of um, oh, man. Oh, man. I had personal growth and then the other card I can't even remember right now but it was another seven it was 16 and they were both sevens but anyway so somebody is going through this completion of a cycle um, and and we see here with you 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 bring forth some sort of happy ending because how they feel about you is a happy ending so maybe this someone who was completing a cycle and you wrapped up a cycle that's how you were able to get to this place where you are very strong mentally spiritually emotionally because you've been working on yourself as I said doing a lot of internal work doing a lot of even external work um, just mastering your crafts mastering yourself reaching a space of self mastery um, with this nine and three that reduces to 12 and remember we had um tried by 12 so 12 is literally um that's some sort of like celebration that's uh, that's giving me like the three of cups i was saying that could have been someone wanting to reconcile but that is you celebrating you know you're having some sort of happy ending the completion of a cycle has led to you now coming into you know better days brighter days happier moments um you know creating a new a, a new um starting a new chapter in your lives ultimately and i feel like you're very content very uh at ease this is like a celebratory moment um and it's because i feel like you got love coming in as well so this love this love the six that's like giving me the lovers energy because the lovers is the number six um and we have evelyn champagne king singing shame so maybe someone that um you know could have caused you a lot of pain in your past. Um, now you are having, you know, like I said, you're you're feeling more elated. Uh, you're feeling emotionally fulfilled right now. And someone else um, may be feeling a little shame, you know, for rejecting your love, um, for not accepting your love. This is someone uh, that could be from your past because this is also like the Six of Cups. So this is someone that may want to return uh, after feeling a little, um, a little, um, foolish perhaps uh, but I do see this karmic completion for the person you're attracting and how they feel they're wrapping up some sort of cycle and they could be feeling um, shameful you know for maybe the way that they've behaved in the past but with love this is what's hidden so you don't realize that there's love in the air there's love that is approaching you and I feel like it's going to make you extremely happy so what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios what's hidden in the energy for my beloved Scorpios may have a message of love and light Thank you, spirit. And we have patience. 
So you've been very patient. We all know patience, like I said, is a form of action. So even though we saw that physical activity, that shows that you've been proactive. You haven't been just sitting around twiddling your thumbs and waiting for a miracle to plop in your lap. Like you've really been showing a lot of self-control, you know, a lot of, you know, patience in this process. You've been taking the time out to heal, taking the time out to really work on yourself, to really work on your creativity, your artistry. Um, this is really having a really strong, healthy relationship with the self. It's about self-care, knowing your self-worth, your self-value. This is also about self-love. Um, maybe some of you are really just taking the time out to find that harmony and that balance as I was speaking of earlier, because two is a number of duality. And so this is you really being in a space where your masculine and feminine, uh, aspects are really balanced right now. You're, you're really, really logical, but you're also very emotionally balanced as well. So you're logically, um, making wise decisions and you're emotionally, um, uh, making right decisions for yourself. And this is making you more attractive because you're solid. You're coming off very solid, very strong. You're radiating, you know, this, the sense of confidence, the sense of love, the self sense of self-respect. And that makes you more attractive. We got physical activity here here. I can't make this up. So 67 reduces the 13. So that 13 is the death card in traditional tarot. Um, so that is also saying, you know, a lot of you have really been, you know, going through those transformations and those shifts and those rebirths and um, really working on self-improvement. And this too is also referencing the high priestess because the number two is the high priestess in um, traditional tarot. And this 93 is three. So this is the empress. So it's like, as I said, you're very sensitive right now. You're like an oracle. You're like a clairvoyant, a channeler. Um, you can receive uh, downloads and you, you're receiving divine messages. You know, it's like you're receiving messages. That's how I said sometimes if you all are going outside, you may be getting like a rush of information when you're like seated around certain trees. If you're around, I'm hearing oak trees. Um, if you're around oak trees, um, you may be receiving a lot of downloads, even pine trees. And my, my stone just fell when I said that. Look at this. My wand fell out of my lap when I said that. So that's confirmation for some of you all. Um, it, I'm hearing um, trust your intuition, trust your instinct, trust what you're feeling um, when it comes to something. Uh, this physical activity that 13 reduces to four. So I really truly feel like some of you all, um, you know, are really feeling very, very strong right now. You could have been dealing with, um, you know, a father figure that could have been the father of your children, father of your child. This could have been a boyfriend, or, you know, whatever. Um, but I do feel like maybe this person did not show enough um, emotion, did not show enough. And that's what led to some sort of demise of a relationship um, in your past. So what's the outcome for my beloved Scorpio? I feel like y'all have were very patiently waiting for someone to change, um, for something to change. But it didn't, and it worked out in your favor because you're happier by yourself. I feel like you've been really just working on, you know, like I said, you know, creation, um, birthing new ideas, new ways of thinking, just improving. So we have the number nine, nine, compassion. So this is the outcome, being compassionate, being caring, um, you know, focusing on the love and light in people, in yourself, in your circumstances, and not giving in to temptation, not allowing anyone to, you know, to um, manipulate you or to steal your energy because a lot of people will come around and they will try to get you to respond to their evil ways, their evil intentions. And once they get you riled up, it's like that's an energy vampire. And then you're stuck feeling the way they were feeling before they initially approached you. So it's like you got to be very mindful to protect your energy um, and to listen, you know, listen to uh, whatever it is your higher self is telling you. We got spirituality 7-7 seven, seven here. So you are very spiritual spiritual beings, spiritual creatures, as I said, you have this sensitivity when it comes to the energy. So trust your intuition uh, because you are the divine feminine. This is something that everyone is very attracted to, is to your very loving, nurturing, maternal energy. You're very beautiful. You're seen as very um, successful. Um, you're just like flourishing. You're a beacon of light and everybody wants a piece of that. So we have the chariot and we have the three of pentacles 
here on the split. So someone is really coming in because they want to build some sort of alliance. I'm hearing the word truce. Someone wants a truce with you. And remember, we had talked to me. So somebody could be rushing in, somebody who lacked confidence in the past, but now they have somehow um, been able to free themselves. I heard free. So maybe, you know, with this chariot energy that I'm picking up, I'm sensing that somebody was really uh, bound and tied to a situation or a circumstance. And now they're free. You know, they're free. They're freeing themselves. Um, they're coming in with this confidence and they're coming in ultimately to to repair a situation, like I said, or to um, try to uh, build some sort of alliance, um, maybe even a truce. They want peace with you. So let's see who's um, what's coming in for our beloved Scorpio. And we have um, Nas and this is called I Can. So someone is believing that they can um, repair this connection because we do see happy endings. So maybe somebody will come in and uh, express some things to you, to share something with you that you may not have known. Um, and I'm getting a sense strongly like this is someone you're familiar with. This is someone that you may have known, maybe from work, maybe from an old neighborhood you lived at. But this is someone you have some sort of history with. You're familiar with this person. This is not a complete stranger because I do feel there's a cosmic connection or some sort of cosmic relationship developing. And so we have on the bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Chalices. So as I said, somebody is coming in. This is a, um, a love. This is like impertinence to love. There's a message of love because remember we had Knight. I know I um, talked to me by Jill Scott, beautifully human. So this is someone that really um, they're attracted to your beauty, to your, you know, you're down to earth. You're very approachable. You know, you're not all high sedity and high strung and cocky and, you know, conceited. It's like they love the fact that you're you're attractive, like I said, on multiple levels, um, internally, um, externally. It's just like they're they're drawn to your spirit. You have a very inviting energy, very loving, um, as I said, very earthy type of energy. And someone is really feeling the necessity to come towards you to offer this cup. Um, the thing about the knights are they they're very quick, um, you know, to action, um, you know, so that doesn't always equate to something good because maybe they 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 move without thinking they they don't really calculate the risk so this is someone who could be you know potentially trying to rush in and the divine is telling you to take that time you know to go out in nature contemplate get things straight meditate you know what i'm saying and 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 ask yourself if this is a good option for you because we have the tower here you know and 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 towers are necessary because when there are illusions um, and when there is delusionment and when there is um, a sense of hidden secrets and motives and agendas and, you know, people behind the scenes and entanglements, um, the divine comes in and strikes the tower to burn it down so that it can be rebuilt because it was built on a faulty foundation. I feel someone that you're attracting is going through some sort of tower moment because they have karmic completion. So this is rooted in a family situation. Maybe they were in a relationship with someone that they may have lived with, resided with, and they discovered that there were some things going on behind their back that they were not aware of. But this is all meant to bring them back um, into alignment. So things have to be destroyed so that they could be rebuilt. And I feel like that's what someone is going through. Um, you know, when they... Uh, you know, when they come in, but I feel like the connection you share with this person is something very natural, very organic. So a lot is not like you don't have to do too much uh, to get this person's attention. I feel like you already grasped their attention. Um, we have Gregory Isaacs and this is called Hot Stepper. And so I feel like this is someone who's who's leaving a situation um very angry. Something took place and it caused a lot of, of pain. Um, it was a very toxic entanglement. Uh, there was a lot of demons um, that somebody was hiding. Um, and I feel like somebody finally had it up to here and it's, it's ending. They're ending this karmic cycle. 
So let's see. Why is karmic completion here for the person Scorpio is attracting? Thank you, spirit. And we have the ace of chalices. So now they're, they're looking for something new. Karmic completion. So every ending denotes a new beginning. So someone that they uh, loved dearly, um, they're parting ways with. And I feel like this person now has their eye on you. Because as you can see, there's an eye on this book. So it's almost as if this person has taken a page from your book and has learned from you. Because remember, you had personal growth. So I feel like this person has learned from watching you heal, grow, evolve, transmute pain, turn it into power, um, literally become the alchemist and a co-creator with source. And so they've taken a page out of your book and they've watched you evolve. And as you can see, we have hot steppers. So now this has perhaps triggered someone or encouraged someone that they need to step and leave a connection that is making them feel dissatisfied, unhappy, you know, like they, 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 this, this gray card is like, it's very dark and gloomy energy. So they could be, you know, tied to someone that just drains their energy. It's like an energy vampire. And I feel like this is something this person had to build themselves up to do because I feel like there's a sense that they lacked the confidence or lacked that, that sense of, um, they didn't really stand erect. They didn't really stand their ground. Um, they just let a lot go on. And now it's like they've, they've, like I said, taken a page out of your book by watching you. Because I feel like this person has watched you. Even though there's no communication, this person has been watching you. Um, so if whatever your platforms are on social media, um, and my phone just went off, so that's confirmation. So this person is really showing, um, showing interest. Showing interest in you. Pardon me. All right, so let's see. All right, so why is a happy ending here for Quran? I'm sorry for uh, Scorpios. <laughs> so we have five of chalices, see that? I can't make this up. The five of chalices. So this is you walking away from a connection that did not honor your greatest good, did not make you feel good. You felt abandoned, left out in the cold. And I feel like somebody felt shameful because remember, we had shame playing by Evelyn Champagne King. So now there's shame. You see how this person is like, you know, because you moved on, you left, you left the situation. You felt a lot of shame. I mean, they felt a lot of shame for the way that they've treated you. And now you're having some sort of happy ending. And you've like, you've transformed into this divine feminine. You know, the number three is, you know, that's the empress in traditional tarot. And you also cut off these heads. You cut people, places, things off that wasn't honoring you. So this is the queen of swords. So that's what you turned into. After disappointment and betrayals, you, you Scorpios tend to turn into that queen of swords energy. And so with this patience energy... I see here that you, you were very patient. You gave people chance, opportunity after opportunity, and it did not, it did not fare well. Give me one moment. So why is patience here for my beloved Scorpios for what's hidden in the energy? Why is patience here for my beloved Scorpios? Thank you, spirit. And so we have the moon. See that? So you was being patient because... There was a lot of things going on behind the scenes that you weren't privy to. What's hidden in the energy is there were secrets. There was a lot of things happening behind the scenes that you did not know. And you were being patient. You were showing a sense of self-control, though, because, you know, intuitively you were picking up on that because you are the high priestess. You are an oracle, a psychic. You are a sorceress. So you had the ability to pick up on this energy because you're very intuitive. You're clairvoyant. And so whatever they were trying to hide, it's like you already knew you're the keeper of the ancient wisdom. And we have coffee W. So W stands for win. So it's like you won over your your enemies. You won, you know, and I see the tower here. So there was definitely a tower. Secrets came to light. You discovered some things that someone was trying to hide from you. Why is compassion here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios? The chariot. So this is the chariot. So there is the divine is saying when somebody returns, show compassion. No, do not judge. Do not judge the situation. Show compassion. And I'm hearing the word surrender because somebody is coming in after long, hard, um, you know, 
reflecting, like they've reflected on the situation and they really want to come in. They're coming in for the W too. They're coming in assertively, confidently, and they're going to be very honest. They're very balanced now. Maybe in the past they was trying to juggle, you know, they was kind of confused, conflicted. And I see the nine of wands. See that? That's why the divine was saying surrender. Because the nine of wands is like that wounded warrior. You're really protecting your energy, protecting your space, your time. You're not really allowing people to interfere. So on the split, we have breaking generational curses and success here on the split. So you have a lot of success and blessings coming in. That could be why that um, 93 happy ending card is there because the Empress is very, very um, successful, very abundant. And I feel you, you know, with that karmic completion also, um, this is just showing that, you know, not only have you broken free from some sort of karmic lessons, but I feel, you know, your, your, your person that you're attracting is also going through this. They, they're mirroring your energy in a lot of ways. And as I said, you all had to disconnect you know, from what was in serving your highest good in order to really assess your situation. Because you, when you're attached to things, you know, and you don't know it, when you kind of remove yourself from that, that, that energy, it's very obvious as to what was interfering with your peace. So we have, you will know, trust your inner, inner gumption. And so that's why I was telling you, y'all are very psychic. You know, um, that's what that card was. I think it was like um, something about intuition. But pay attention because the divine is going to give you a lot of synchronicities. And I do feel like it's very important to be focused on you, yourself, and you, not anyone else. You're not responsible for anyone else's happiness because happiness is an inside job. Love is an inside job. So it says past life, love vibes, is this the one? Can't make this up. So what did I say? You had a twin flame. This number 74 is the 11. And what did I say? This is typically associated with twin flame energy and look what comes out past life love vibes is this the one so you're going to be questioning if somebody is the one because you're going to feel that tingling sensation this person is going to um be very very um chivalrous charming you know but don't get over like don't get blindsided by that you know what i'm saying like still stay grounded and still have your um you know still keep your boundaries don't just get all in la la look Treat yourself. You deserve it. Self-love is the best love. So always re represent yourself honorably, you know, respectfully. Teach people how to treat you, you know, because now you know your worth. So don't overcompensate and don't, you know, ex you know, just do everything for anyone. Don't mother anyone. Don't father anyone. Let everybody carry their own load, you know. So why is karmic completion and the ace of chalices here for my beloved Scorpios for who they are attracting? And how they feel. And so we got the Humpty Dance here. And the Digital Underground. So this is somebody that's been like behind the scenes. This is somebody you hadn't spoken to. This is like Hermit. You know. You know. I'm, I'm getting you know. Um, that underground reference. It's like when it's underground. It's just like you know. You forget about it. It's like you, you know. Not seen. Not heard. You know. So why is this um, karmic completion? This is somebody that's really in like that hermit mode. All right. So I see promotion pay increase. I see that here. And I see cut your losses. You'll be rewarded greatly. So somebody needs to cut somebody free in order to be re um, rewarded. And then I see the Trinity. So somebody is releasing someone that they could have lived with or could have been in a family dynamic with. And they need to, uh, and because this says, cut your losses, you'll be rewarded greatly. And then I see the promotion pay increase. So the losses is that, you know, maybe there's a lot of shenanigans going on in this relationship that the divine has witnessed, you know, and this has happened within a family dynamic. Um, somebody was in some sort of family relationship with Humpty. Maybe somebody was humping around. I'm hearing that Bobby Brown ain't nobody humping around. So maybe somebody found out somebody was humping around. Somebody had a new love. And we got jealousy as a sickness, hater alert, stalker alert. So there is someone that's really jealous of someone because maybe they've discovered that their beloved was cheating or creeping or doing whatever. Or maybe somebody is jealous because they're being cut free and someone is moving on with their life and things are improving since they've done so. Um, with this promotion pay increase, I feel like somebody, once they cut some sort of um, energy vampire off, uh, they're going to start seeing things, you know, really improve for them. 
and this was somebody that was flighty in and out and I was picking up on that energy. So why is happy ending and the five of chalices here for the person, um, for how this person feels about our beloved Scorpios? Divine spirit of love and light. Why is happy ending and five of chalices here? Why is happy ending? Thank you, spirit. It says don't eat everyone's food, redemption song, and mistress. Yep. So there was definitely somebody who came in between this connection. Um, perhaps someone could have cheated, you know, and the mistress thought that they stole the person. And the person that they stole was steady worried about you because you said, I'm out. So you're on this ship or this boat, you know, moving on to the next. And this person's trying to wave you down, whereas this feminine energy here is, is feeling foolish because you're going to go off into the sunset and feel happy. I feel whoever your person was that, that you were dealing with that helped you to, you know, obtain that personal growth. This is somebody that could have gotten like done, done, um, by some sort of, um, succubus energy that could have, you know, did some sort of like witch's brood on this person, because it says, don't eat everyone's food. Don't let everyone in your home. Um, and then it says mistress, and then we have redemption. So the redemption is you, you know, you having this happy ending is you overcoming this, this toxic ex and this, this, you know, this whole entanglement here and, and you parting ways to go find your peace and you're happily ever after. You can see you're clearly going towards the sun. The sun is all about happiness. And if you look at this card, it's a very sunny card. It speaks to happiness, joy, peace, um, so this person from the past, remember we had shame. So somebody's feeling very shameful for the things that they've done. And remember we have um, Humpty playing, you know. So now we have um, happy house, happy spouse. So this is what's hidden in the energy is you are, you know, very patiently waiting for someone. Um, that could be your divine masculine, your divine feminine, the yang to your yin, because that too is duality. Um, look at this. You've been a warrior spirit. It says you've defied the odds. So this is what you've done. You've been very patient. The divine has noticed this. The divine has noticed how hard you've been fighting and clawing and scratching to get to this place of peace, to get to this place of balance, to get to this place of uh, spiritual harmony and spiritual strength. And, you know, all of the secrets and lies, all of the, you know, all of the gossiping, all of the things people were doing to destroy you. It's like you, you, you won, you know, you're, because your intuition is strong. It's like you can't get anything past the high priestess or the high priest. You know, it's like they're the keepers of ancient wisdom. So it was like you was able to pull these people's cards that was trying to dupe you. Maybe in the past they were easily uh, able to do so. But it's like once you went through that personal growth and your spiritual um, spidey senses went off and you you became that oracle, that psychic, that alchemist, it's like all the things that you were aloof to in the past, it's like now you see clearly. You're a warrior spirit, so you've persevered through a lot. What did I say? You got a, a, a there's a strong synergy connection. There's a strong attraction that's drawing this chariot to you. And this is also duality, yin-yang energy. And with compassion, I feel like this could be someone, as I said, that you know from your past. Because for the divine to tell you to show compassion means that something could have happened. And this is not an ex. I feel like this is someone you're associated with. Someone you could have lost contact, lost touch with. Um, maybe y'all had some little small dispute and y'all just kind of lost contact, like I said. But somebody's rushing back because I feel like somebody's really feeling this strong pull, this strong urge to speak to you, to talk to you. Because remember we had um, Jill Scott. Look at this. Financial freedom is in store for you. Success stability. A lot of you all are receiving some sort of wish fulfillment and blessings because you are a warrior spirit and you defied the odds because you have completed a karmic cycle because you've showed respect, self-love, determination. We have earth angel. You are my precious. So someone realizes that you are um, their precious, that they love you. There's the strong uh, connection, the strong chemistry they share with you. We just saw synergy. So there's like this magnetic pull that draws them to you. And this time around, if they were playing games in the past because we got child's play, they're not going to do it any longer. I feel like, what did I just say, man? See, this this person has gone within. It's like with go deeper, you haven't scratched the surface. Somebody is really looking at the situation from a whole completely different perspective, an evolved perspective. And they realize the games they were playing. They see you as a shining star. They see you as someone very radiant, 
very strong, very beautiful, very gifted, talented. They could be seeing you, you know, um, really in the spotlight. And we got financial freedom here. So you are really receiving some sort of blessing. You've broken the yoke. You've broken some sort of hex spell. And this is why you're having some sort of opportunity present itself. Um, but I feel like you've really, your growth and your perseverance, your resilience is leading to some sort of wish fulfillment and blessing. I feel whoever did you wrong in the past, they're receiving karma and your karma is redemption. You know, the sweetest joy is redemption. The sweetest joy is being able to, you know, um, overcome whatever pitfalls, whatever hurdles your enemies were trying to place before you um, and having the divine helping you and assisting you with that. Um, you're being seen as a warrior, you know, a warrior spirit who has defied the odds. Many things were, you know, kind of trumped up against you uh, to take you out. And it's like you've grown, you've evolved, you've mastered the art of, you know, trusting your own intuition and not just going along to get along and trusting people's words and giving them the benefit of the doubt. I feel like you've really evolved. You've really uh, learned to, you know, remain humble, to remain in control, um, and self-discipline more importantly. And that's why there's so many amazing things coming in, but you have someone coming in strong, uh, someone coming in quickly. And this is somebody that is really, uh, sees you as an earth angel. They see you as someone very, you know, very nurturing and loving, very rare energy. Someone that's just, you know, you're a keeper is what I just heard a keeper. And maybe their childish games is what led to, you know, the two of you losing contact. But I feel like somebody's rushing in and this person could be watching you um, via the world, world Wide Web, learning a little more about you. You know, maybe you are the one that triggered them to work on themselves um, and, and also encourage them to cut, you know, whatever they were not, you know, whatever they were attached to that wasn't serving their highest good. And it could have been in relation to some of their, you know, family dynamics, relationship dynamics, um, but this was also blocking some sort of financial blessings and opportunities for them as well. But the sooner they cut their losses, the sooner they have some sort of blessings come in. But this is your reading, beloved Scorpios. I hope the message has resonated. If you found that it did, please be kind, hit the like, share, subscribe button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are returning, you already know what it is, beloveds. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Peace.